Hey, what is up guys? It is Uncle Kobe, and first off, for those who are wondering why I have not posted for two days, it was just because I was really sick, you know, mostly my throat, I had a really sore throat, uh, but I'm pretty much better now, but anyways, today I have my second installment on my Black Ops 2 Weapon Breakdown and Comparison series. A couple days ago, I compared the MP7 and the MSMC, and a lot of you guys seem to have enjoyed it with the likes and the comments, so I decided that I will definitely continue the series, most likely throughout the whole lifespan of Black Ops 2. So like I said in my last video, I compared two SMGs, so I thought today I'd cover two assault rifles. The Type 25 was by far the most requested, so I decided to put that head to head against the MTAR. Now the reason for that, that I chose the MTAR, well you get both of these weapons fairly early into your leveling process. For some of you, it might be hard to choose exactly which gun is better for you, so that's what we're going to do and going to be taking a look at in this video. Some of the stats, bullet spreads, and just overall usefulness of the gun. And as always, if you enjoy the video, please take the time to give it a rating, I would appreciate it very much. But anyways, let's get right into this breakdown. So the MTAR, as you know, is the first assault rifle that is available to you in the game, and just like its cousin MW2, it's just meant to be an overall, all-around good weapon. The Type 25, however, is a purebred assault rifle that we're all used to and is rapidly becoming people's favorite assault rifle of choice. Now, what gun is better is personal preference, but they do complement different playstyles, so let's just get right into some stats. Starting off with the damage, the MTAR has the edge with a 40 point damage, while the Type 25 has around a 33 point damage, so basically what that means is the MTAR has the ability to take out enemies with 3 bullets, while the Type 25 does not. But like most of the high damage weapons, the rate of fire takes a dip, and the MTAR having a 720 RPM, while the Type 25 is around a 900 RPM, plus or minus 10, so taking into account the damage rate of fire and just using the guns in general, it feels like the Type 25 kills slightly faster in medium to long ranges, however up close if you can hit the first 3 bullets with your MTAR you can drop an enemy really really fast, just as fast as you could with an MSMC. Now onto the magazine sizes, if you use the Type 25 a lot, I'm sure this is probably your number one downfall and that's running out of bullets. Typically with a weapon with a fast RPM like the Type 25, you'd get a larger clip. However, that is not the case. Both of these weapons have a standard clip of 30 rounds, which for the MTAR is completely normal, but with the Type, unless you are extremely accurate, you're going to find yourself reloading a lot, which is why you don't typically see any quad sprays or even triple sprays for that matter with this gun. To make matters worse, both of these guns have around a 2.5 second reload, which isn't the worst I guess, but it isn't that great either when you're having to reload all the time. So next we're going to be taking a look at the recoil patterns as well as the hip fire spreads of these two weapons. And I tested this out a lot because going into it I thought the TAR would have a lower recoil because of its lower RPM, but every time I did it the Type 25 spreads would just be a little tighter, which to me was quite surprising. Now with the hip fire spreads they were both about the same whether I was standing or crouching so rate of fire would be the key factor whether or not you win a hip fire gunfight between these two weapons. So which gun is better I really can't say they both have their pros and cons but if I was expecting to see some close quarter combat I would personally go with the MTAR because it is stronger and the lower RPM actually works in your favor. However if I was just a normal player you know I think you'd find more success using the Type 25 you know no matter what map it is. And for those of you guys that use the weapon I'm sure that you'll agree with me when I say it's just an overall good assault rifle. So that about wraps up this breakdown and comparison I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you have a suggestion for the next one or just what I could do differently in general leave it in the comments down below. Also I got a few messages from people saying I should talk about the attachments in these videos but I'm saving that for a different series that's all about class loadouts. I do plan on starting that very soon once I get some free time I've just been crazy busy lately with work and school. But I am finding free time to produce some high quality content, so if you are enjoying it, please take the time to leave it a like as well if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I also got a little surprise coming within the next week or so, but you'll find out about that soon. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, I'm just having a blast creating these videos, so again, I hope you guys are enjoying them. But until next time, this is Uncle Kobe, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.